So first what I'm going to do is clean up this mess. It is just, you know what, honestly it's not that bad. <laughs> it gets a whole lot worse than this around here. But there is just like some food, some toys, some stuff. It also looks so bare in here since I took down most of the fall decor. So I'm ready to get decorating, but first what I'm going to do is clean all of this up. If you are not interested in the cleaning, I will have a timestamp right across the screen on when the decorating starts. from last year but not the other but thankfully I had some left over but I cannot find my scissors anywhere so I'm gonna try to cut it with a knife and this is like the dullest dullest knife ever we don't use it for anything any anymore it won't even cut through like an onion don't try this at home Ugh. the wire in there is not cutting Okay, so I ended up finding like big wire cutters in the garage, so we are all good. If you're trying to do this at home, all I do is I tie a knot and then just kind of maneuver it so it's in the back. So then it's hidden by the front of the ribbon, and that is it. Okay, so now I'm gonna attempt to do the mantle. When we moved in here, my husband, of course, needed like the absolute biggest TV that would fit. So I don't have a lot of mantle space, but every year I just put command hooks up here. And I put the garland like right along here and it doesn't affect the TV or anything. But this year I want to do something like kind of fun and do layered garland or maybe like, I don't know, we'll see. I have like a vision in my head, but we'll see if I can actually execute it. I 
I want you guys to keep in mind when you're watching these decorating for Christmas videos that it's not really realistic to be going out and buying new Christmas decor every year or doing a new theme or anything like that. Most of us here on YouTube, we just do that because then we're able to create more content, which is what we love to do. So I don't want anyone watching my video and ever comparing themselves or thinking like, this is the norm and you need to go out and buy all new Christmas decor or fit a certain trend every year, anything like that. You don't even need Christmas decor at all for your holiday season to be magical. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind whenever you're watching these videos on YouTube, that most of us do this so we can create this content because that's just what we love to do and that it's not something that you need to do in your home. And I'm sure that all of your guys' homes look absolutely beautiful during the holiday season no matter how long you've had your Christmas decor how much or how little you have or anything like that so I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out here because I know that comparison is so hard nowadays especially with social media and YouTube and Instagram so just try to remind yourself that the people making these videos or creating those Instagram posts most of us are buying the stuff to create that content on the frozen lake, saying hi to every friendly face, and later we warm So if you have a fireplace like mine and you're not sure, sure where to hang the stockings, I put my command strips every year underneath the fireplace so they're like on the bottom, and then instead of just hanging it on there so that it hangs, because it would hang like really high up, I actually put these little like ornament hooks on there. So it can be a little bit lower, but I actually think I'm going to hang it a little lower than that and kind of double up on the hook. Just because when the name tags come in, I want them to be able to show. By the way, I ordered name tags for our stockings because we did decide on a name for baby boy and I think I'm going to announce it in my Christmas home tour video because hopefully the name tags will be here by then and then when I'm showing this area in the Christmas home tour it'll have like mine and James's and Williams and then the babies with the baby's name I thought that'd be a fun way to reveal his name so definitely stay tuned for that because last year I only put up three because it was just me, James, and William. But I'm gonna hang up the baby stocking right here. Let me try to evenly space it out. This is the hardest part. Okay, I think I like how it looks right now. I think I like it. This is like the first time where I've done something and kind of liked it the first time. So I might still play around with it a bit, but I don't know, I think it looks good. And I like the joy sign. I like that it adds a little bit of bread. And I think once I have those wooden name tags, it'll add some more like of the wood color. I think I like it. Let's move on to the next area. in here before and it's kind of hard oh my gosh it broke the thumbtack <laughs> wow I've never seen that happen before
Oh, you can't even tell. Good enough for me. Ah, I love it. I think it looks so good. I love it. Okay, maybe I just keep it simple like this. Sometimes I'm like, I could throw glitter and a garland and a light up streamer and I start getting a little crazy. Maybe I just back away and let it be. Yes, there is currently a trampoline in my house because my three-year-old is wild and it helps get his energy out. and get these feather dusters and spread them apart and it looks like snow. So I'm actually gonna put some of these in the gap so it looks like snow. For a few years and you can kind of rip them in half and make different size like snow just kind of looks like snow clumped up in certain areas the thing with trees is I feel like everything I do looks bad and funky like this looks so weird until the very end and then it just kind of comes together so if you're doing your tree and you're getting discouraged, don't. It'll all come together in the end. horrible so far but I'm just gonna keep going like I said you just keep going <laughs> hopefully I'm gonna use these like fake pearls that I have from last year it doesn't really match the theme 
on the fireplace. But oh well. Okay, so I have all of these ornaments from years past when I did more champagne, but I don't want it to be that fancy this year, so I'm actually not going to use these. the tree on and I just realized that we need some lights over here on the garland because it's super dark so I have these twinkly lights from Target and I'll have them linked down below I'll have like anything that I mentioned in this video that I can link linked down below but I'm just gonna try to like intertwine it into the garland Do you want me to do it in that tree or this tree? And he suggested that I try it around here first. So we're going to try that out. I'm going to try to hide this. <laughs> Is that silly? Maybe I wrap it. He was 
right. This looks really good. Hopefully you guys think it looks good. I think it looks so good. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I love it. It looks so good though. I'm gonna have to give him major props on that because that was totally his idea. I didn't think it would look good. Ignore that tree in the background. It's not gonna be there. I'm gonna be decorating his playroom in the next video, but it's not gonna be right there. It kinda looks funky. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on. Okay, good enough for me. Okay, so honestly, every year I struggle this mo the most with the coffee table. I just feel like... I don't know how people do coffee tables. I feel like they're so hard. So I'm just gonna keep it really simple. This way, but as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't think it needs a lot of height because then it kind of blocks. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it like this. <laughs> the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere. Just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow. Since July, I've been happier than I have ever been. It's safe to say that my love for you is true. Tomorrow. This is the final look. So we have the tree. And I didn't buy anything new for the tree this year. Um, ideally, I would have liked to add more like wood tones or something just to kind of tie the room in together more. But I didn't want to spend any extra money since I already had all of these. And then we have the garland over here. This is one of my favorite. I love how the layered look turned out. I just think it's so fun. And I really think once the name tags come in, it's gonna like tie it all together. I cannot wait for you guys to see. And then we have this side of the room. And yeah, that is it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, will you do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment? It just helps YouTube know to recommend my video and it helps me grow my channel, which means so much to me. If you guys have not yet subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you check out my other Christmas decorating videos. I have one where I did my master bedroom. I have one where I did the dining room. And then I, sorry, I have to keep pausing because I'm so out of breath. But I have a video coming up where I'm going to be doing William's playroom. So more of like fun, bright colors for him. Just so he can have, you know, something not as... I don't know, whatever like put together, he can have something a little more fun and Christmassy in his playroom. I just cannot wait for you guys to see it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment le letting me know you made it all the way till the end. And thank you guys so much for watching. For